hi y'all welcome to our channel so normally it would be me and my little sister but she is out and about right now so i'm going to do my own boob vlog to show you guys so we guys game because i don't feel like going to the store to get a game leaf so yeah my business anyway i just had to throw that in there so i'm going to do my boob vlog by myself and you know just tell you guys the ins and the outs we're gonna start all the way back in march it is october right now so i did my six month post up this is how the girls are looking which is really cute i love it it was like the complete opposite of how it started so yeah we're gonna take it back to february i'm gonna go over the pain the size you know the procedure um the aftercare Definitely the aftercare, like all of that good stuff. Um, you might see me cuss a little bit, you know, I smoke a lot, you know, it's gonna be I'm smoking right now. It's gonna be like a mixture of all of my personality. So this channel is just gonna be our real personalities, our real combo, our real lives, no filter, everything raw, like yeah. So boom, let's do that. We're gonna take it to February and then I'll meet you guys back here in October at the end of the video. So yeah Step one they said no smoking Now it's a silver lining no smoking meaning no nicotine or no tobacco So what I did is I just cut it all that out. No pot pens You know no black none of that. I've been smoking hemp leaves and pipes if you gotta smoke I gotta smoke so I smoke marijuana though I had to have a driver my best friend she came and she stayed over at my mom's house with me because you're gonna have to also stay at somebody's house because you're gonna need help with like everything I literally can't lift my hand like has right here they call it t-rex arms so yeah so yeah she came over we left my house at like six no we left my house at like 5 30 and then we got there at like 6 15 the place was still closed so we just sat outside for like 10 minutes i called them again they told me where to go you know it was real quick i just went in they took my they put the IV in my arm they asked me about family history and all that health stuff yada 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 Made sure I was saying the right name, what size I want. I got a 375. So I went from a 32. No, I said I was a 34. I went from a 34A to a fucking. I think I'm gonna be a 36C. I'm probably going to be in the 36C. They said I could be a D, but it's probably gonna be a 36C. So yeah, they said made sure I knew what size I wanted, all that good stuff. They gave me a gown. They told me to get naked except for my underwear change and all that good stuff i was over here touching myself to make you know the last few moments with no boobs like this is crazy so anyway yeah then um uh, they escorted me to the other room which is the surgery room the other nurse came in after the anesthesiologist so i had one nurse come in and tell me to get undressed you know she had took my um nicotine test today the surgery passed i did a covid test at my pre-op pass so yeah then another male nurse, he comes in and he escorts me to the other place once I already have the IV and all that stuff. On. So we go to the surgery room. Um, Dr. Fardo, he came in like for like two seconds before the surgery, you know, just to say hey again because I haven't seen him 50 times because I didn't came to 50 consultations. So he came in and said hey, then he left. So we go to the other room and it was so fast. Like I keep telling my friends, like I literally didn't even know that shit was happening. <laughs> It was so fast. Like I laid on the heated bed. They put the arm, the thing in my arm. Like I already had an IV in my arm, so I didn't even know the anesthesiologist was putting the medicine in my arm. I just lay down and woke up with a bra on. So I had on this. I think this is the surgical bra. So yeah. Actually, I can really take this off. So the fact that I can even take this off is good because day one, day two, oh no baby, this, I needed help. I couldn't do anything. I still kind of can't do anything, but I feel like I need to start stretching it out and not just staying stiff because it's like all of my back hurts, like right here. 
It feels like I've been lifting weights. That's exactly what it feels like. So yeah, I got a 375. I was 34A. I had Dr. Fardo. I went to the Swan Center in Alpharetta in Georgia. Awesome. It was $6,000. Technically, it was $5,970. So, $6,000. Pay half. Really, it's not even half. You pay $500 about that. I thought it was half the whole entire time. So, I'm going to pay half. And the lady said I only had to pay $500. But, whatever. So, I got silicone, high profile. It's, my shoulder bone's like right here. So. It's probably going to end up dropping, you know, they'll get lower over the next few weeks. After three months, I don't have to wear, like, anything, I don't think, but I don't know yet. I don't go to my post op appointment until tomorrow, so I'll make another video. So, they took out my ear piercing for me. They took out the ear piercing for me. I had to take out my tongue piercing. I forgot to put that back in. You can't have any piercings, basically. You couldn't eat before 12 a.m. I mean, after 12 a.m. So that was fine because my surgery was at 6.30. I don't really care. So yeah. Then when I woke up, it was so fast. That lady, she just threw my jacket on, put my shoes on for me, put my pants on for me, put me in a wheelchair and rolled me outside like instant. I was like up for like, what, one, one minute, I swear. I didn't even sit in there. I must have been asleep though in the recovery room for like two hours or at least or something. Cause she woke me up and took me straight outside. Like, that's it. So my friend went in the car and the first thing we asked her was, can we smoke? So when she said, technically no, but you know, technically, yeah, just can't be nicotine or tobacco. Go home, I can't even turn like any kind of way. I can't lift my arms up. I can't even unbutton my seatbelt. I mean, it's not like excruciating pain, obviously, but I'm just saying I can't do like little things like Everything feels like I'm working out. Pain level. It was probably like a what? I mean, they gave me a they gave me a lot of medicine. They gave me a laxative because they said for some reason the anesthesia and the pain pills make you not use the bathroom. And they said if you don't use the bathroom in three days, start taking the laxative. So, yeah. They gave me the laxative. They gave me Percocets. They gave me something else for it they take two times a day so yeah i mean it didn't hurt that much when i was on the pills but as soon as the pills go away oh my god it, to me it feels like it hurts more to sleep i don't know if it's because it's cold or because you got to sleep sitting up and the cover is not on you but oh my god it was hurting but like in the daytime when you're moving around it doesn't hurt that bad and i don't know if it's because my boobs are big now but my back hurts like it really hurts <laughs> it feels like I've been lifting pounds. Oh my god, y'all. <laughs> that is crazy. I can't wait until they drop. Oh, this is my cousin's clothing line. That's on my head, by the way. The narrow bandits. Oh my god. This is so cute. Hey you guys, I am at my six month pre-op visit for the girls. So it's been taking me so long to post this video, but today's the day. I did it my whole six month. I missed my three month visit, which is terrible. Y'all are gonna find out why you should not do that at the end of the video. But I've been feeling okay. Super huge scarring, I'll get to that. We're gonna go check that out right now. I'm at the Swan Center, I had Dr. Fardo. He was great. Okay, so I had to go get a mask. But we're good now, we're here. I love this place, this is like the best thing for my eyes, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I feel like I'm walking down the fucking hallway when the little girls are like come and play with us but yeah okay boom i had dr fardo before i go in here i had dr fardo my actual surgery day was march 8th i'm at the swan center in alfreda georgia they're fucking amazing i loved it i'm gonna get deeper into it later i got a size 375 okay i'm in the post-op room i gotta change real quick
boom, just like that. Let me admire them. I don't know why, but I'm like super nervous. And I already got the titty there. That's that Aquarius shit. Just paranoid for no reason. I gotta show y'all this scar that I'm, the, the reason why I'm here is because of the scar. My scar did not heal well at all. Like, who wants to see this? Y'all, that shit just motherfucking hurt. I ain't expect that motherfucking shit at all. But you know what, I'm a G, so y'all know. He stabbed me up. Ouch. So I'm at the fucking gas station after my damn titty appointment and they injected me with something called collagen, collagen, I guess, collagen 10. And it's supposed to flatten out my scars on my titties. And I have to go back in two months to see if they flatten out. He didn't say it was gonna hurt. Like, first of all, obviously the shots hurt. It was probably about, let me see. It's probably about five shots going this way and then the same on the other boob all of a sudden i just keep feeling pinching like my titties are like it hurts so bad y'all like i can't even pump the fucking gas like i can't even lift my ah oh, i can't even lift my arm up oh my god this shit hurt what the fuck this is worse than the actual surgery why does it feel like this ah it's like pinches, Ooh, like random pinches, like somebody's popping me with a rubber band or some shit, but like from the inside, ouch. Mm. I am not being dramatic. I literally just had to pull the camera out to get this shit on camera. Ah, oh, this shit hurt. And I gotta stop cussing. I gotta get used to the YouTube shit because I cuss like a seller. I can't help it. Shit, that shit hurt though. Uh, let me see. I don't even want to lift my shirt up. It hurt so bad. I'm finna ride around just like this. I sure the fuck am. Ah! Oh my God, y'all, this shit hurt. Oh, he did not say it was gonna feel like this. I wonder why it feels like this. Oh, I took a picture too. I wanna take this, I'm not taking that off. I'm gonna take that off later. I got nothing with my boobs. I love my titties. This is not considered a boob job gone wrong. It almost went wrong until I decided to go check it out. Wear your uh, little clear little sticky things. The bra thing, he said that's okay. Like I, I stopped wearing my bra after like a month because I wanted the natural drop. But this, this is important. And it's called, what the fuck is this shit called? He gave me a piece of paper. So this is what I'm about to go buy next. My titties hurt. I don't even know how I'm gonna drive. The pension, I hope it's not doing this the whole two months. So I gotta go back November 30th, that's two months from now, to check on the scars. He said if they didn't flatten out, we're gonna do another round. <laughs> another one. I don't know if I could do another one, y'all. This shit really does hurt. Like, it hurts more than the surgery. Like, oh, it just keep having random. I don't even know how to explain it. The shit hurt, that's all you need to know. Me currently. <laughs> Cause this shit hurt, like y'all. I don't understand why the fuck a little after shot feels like this, like motherfucker. This video gonna have so many beeps and bleeps in it. <laughs> Cause God, you know, like that. And action. Okay, so we're gonna start all the way from the beginning to the middle to now. And we're gonna have a big scar right there. So, first I was like flat as this wall, like an A cup, probably. I got a 375. So, you can kinda see. Okay, yeah. So I got a 375. That made me wear like a. Probably like a B now, a high B, a 34C. But I wish I would have got a 425 because it would have gave me like the fuller, like, you know, sexual look I wanted. This looks more natural. Like I was born like this. A lot of people don't even know I got my titties done, which is good, I guess. 
Um, the recovery time wasn't that long. I mean, I'm a bottle girl, so I went back to like holding up bottles probably like six weeks afterwards. But I was back at work in like two weeks. I just wasn't bringing out my own bottles. I would just like hold the lights like right here and have somebody else hold my bottle. So now obviously I can do everything, but at the time I couldn't even put my seatbelt on. But it, not because it hurt, but because you just not supposed to, the seatbelt thing hurt, like trying to use your muscles to do certain stuff. But trying to bring my bottles out, I couldn't do that because it required me to, you know, lift my hands up high and then your implant can go out of the pocket that they're created for it, then you gotta keep your arms down. Cool. The aftercare. They give you these thingies. Let me go grab them. It's like a, it's like a piece of clear band-aid gel kind of thing. But you're supposed to wear them, you know, after your surgery. I fucked up when I only wore them for like three weeks you're supposed to wear them for like some months and that's probably why my scar ended up raised and i'm gonna show y'all that you know afterwards so yeah you're supposed to keep that on or else you're gonna have like not like a line keloid but something similar yeah so i didn't wear those that's part of the reason i have a scar now my boobs didn't go like wrong i love them obviously they're perfect it's just that they almost went wrong because i did not wear these you have to wear these like they say don't smoke they say yada 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 wear your bra you have to wear these like these are really important now before my surgery i did smoke leaves of sorts you know but i put them in papers like you know nothing with nicotine and then nothing with like tobacco nothing like that just papers or whatever you decide to do a pipe like you know whatever you want to do um I also could have messed up because after my surgery I started back smoking backwards. I should have probably waited like at least two months and just kept smoking papers, but I just wanted surgery once that once they were in, I'm you know back to whatever, but you know, don't waste your money. But I caught my money because today when I went to my six month post op, they fixed everything. Now, fixed everything. They gave me these damn shots. Oh my god, I did not expect to get shots. I got like 10 shots, five in each titty, right on the scar, like along the line. Matter of fact, let's take off the band aid now and see what it looks like. Now, this is my first time seeing it too, since they gave me the little shot thing. So, it's probably ah, shit. It probably doesn't look ouch that different ouch but ouch what the hell why <laughs> mommy mommy i think i need you to rip this band-aid off it hurts <laughs> Ow. Uh. oh wait okay i think i gotta come in from this way oh shit yeah all right that way was better so, yeah, you can't even, nothing really changed yet, but they basically gave me literally like right on the line, like one, two, three, four, you know, like some shots right there, and it's supposed to make my shot go down smoother. So that's that. And now after this, I'm gonna go ahead and get in the shower and I'm gonna put on my little band-aid thing they gave me. They only gave me one for now. I gotta go buy my own. Obviously my surgery was six months ago, so I gotta start paying for my own shit. So boom. Now with that, let's put that away. Let's do this one. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, my scars are super thick, y'all. They are not supposed to be like this, especially considering Dr. Fardo is great. Okay, so just clean everything. Now we are going to put on these damn bandages like I was supposed to do in the first place. This is what we are going to do. Don't play with that ball. Sticky stick. Scar her way. Put these up to like there. I'll do this one. Oh, shit. I'm going to do this one first so y'all can see. See how thick that is? Like, it feels much better. Hmm. 
think I like that color. Now I gotta keep doing this for at least two months along with these shots and then I'm gonna go back on, like I said, November 30th and we're gonna go check on them and I'm gonna do another video for y'all and show y'all. But overall the pain rate was probably a six. I told you it didn't hurt. Um, only thing that hurt was me not keeping up with my skin. Alrighty, I hope y'all enjoyed that. Now, to summarize everything, I'm gonna just tell you guys the short story. So, how I found where I wanted to go was simple. I found a girl, this girl on Instagram I follow. Her boobs look super natural. I asked her, she was super nice. She told me like her doctor, the place, like everything, the size, like all that. So I went ahead and got a 375cc. Like I said, I wish I would've got a 425, but this is really good actually, you know, like now that I'm seeing it, you know, I've been paying attention. It's not that bad, but I do wish I would've got 425 because it's not giving me the, um, dramatic like look that i wanted but this is still really natural nobody knows that i got my boobs done unless you knew me before which is also good um yeah 375 i went to the swan center in alpharetta georgia they're like super great super professional everything was super smooth like boom 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 like the deposit was only 500 dollars, but i went ahead and paid half i didn't know that um i only had to pay 500 so that's that um What else? Um, yes, I had to keep putting, you know, ice packs mostly here, here, here. We just happen to have little ice cubes. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to insert them. Like, just happen to have those. Like, you guys can use ice cubes at your ice tray and put them in things and, like, boom, boom, boom. Um, yeah, try to keep the T-Rex arms, you know, at least for the first six weeks. Don't, you know, lift your arms up high or whatever the case may be. Um, definitely do the research on your size. Please consider your starting size i did not consider that i got a 375 because the girl that i seen had a 375 but she started with a little bit more than me so her look was different from mine that's why i keep saying i wish i would got a 425 definitely put your band-aids on you know the whole three months you don't have scars like mine i'm not tripping like that because that's just my personality but some people are like what the fuck i just wasted all my money but you know i'm grateful i'm still happy with the look um what else? I It kind of be could be because I smoke a lot. You know, try not to smoke. But like I said, everybody's different. I met people that smoke immediately. They didn't have scars. I met people that used fake pee and they didn't. They still was able to get their surgery. Didn't have any scars. Like you know, it's a whole bunch of different things you could do. I didn't even think to use fake pee, but I, that's because I wanted to be safe. But yeah. Um. Now to tell about how my life changed after the boobs. When I tell you guys, my money has went up like I've always been able to get jobs like I work in the adult entertainment industry so I'm a waitress slash bartender so I've always been able to get jobs like really easy but no boobs but now I just wait to go places because I just know they're gonna hire me like I don't even go try to get a job until I know I'm ready to work because there's no if or but like I'm gonna get the job not to be conceited because like I'm super grateful for that because like I came a long way definitely I had glasses a mustache flat chest like you know i came a long way so if you know you know that's just what it is so it's the difference between being cocky and you know confident so i definitely have worked my way to confidence so with that being said this was just a cherry on top so yeah my money has been up like i've always sold sections and whatever case maybe but now i'm starting to meet a different kind of people like a lot more people with that being said people from all over like i went out of town and accidentally got me a job boom i'm working at that club one of the you know best strip clubs in the world like i mean in the u.s let's just say that boom um yeah like um what else my clothes this oh my god if i would have tried to wear this outfit or this shirt like before my birthday a few months ago I would look like somebody's 11 year old daughter like seriously now i'm definitely giving them slick sexy fine little brown thing you know natural look like grown like that's what i wanted like i have a whole four-year-old like i work for this like i'm a grown at you know woman like you know what i'm saying so yeah like money went up um clothes different i can go out to the club and wear like a nice like cut i can do like a, a v-neck you know stuff like that i could wear a jean jacket with no bra hoodies with no bra just 
just stuff like that so so yeah i could wear like all kind of new stuff my bathing suits look great like just everything including like just me feeling good like everything just changed like i just feel so much better like that's not the only thing that i think about now so it's getting my boobs done so i'm not gonna really think about other stuff um yeah so it was five thousand nine hundred and seventy dollars almost six thousand um the recovery time was like six weeks or so but um yeah i love the girls um i had a son so you know my boobs kind of shrunk yeah, so it was just the best decision ever. I would do it again. Yes, I advise anybody that wants to get their boobs done to do it. Take care of your scars. Fuck a nigga. Fuck what anybody got to say. Okay, so, yeah. Our next video is probably going to be a special effects one. Cheyenne's going to make me look old or scary. Or, you know, we don't know yet. We're going to just show you guys what we can do. Then we have a Strip Club Addicts one coming up. That's going to drop in November. I need everybody to tune in. We have one of my homegirls coming from KOD Miami. She's a bartender. I have a waitress from KOD Atlanta coming in. And I have a dancer that also works at KOD Atlanta and Platinum uh, out here. So we're all going to get together. We're going to tell you guys the ins and outs of the strip club. How to save your money. What's it like being judged. How to keep a nigga. How to find a nigga while you're working in the club. How does it feel seeing somebody's uncle while you're dancing. You know, just anything you could think of on working in the club. We're going to go over that. I also got a video in another video coming for you guys. I'm gonna show you how to get a job at the strip club as a bartender or a waitress. So tune in. We got three good videos coming for you guys for the rest of the year. And I hope you guys like them.